Hey guys, Ivan here and uh, in this video today we have another, I don't know if I should call it breaking news or another rumor because you guys know what happened yesterday, I had a rumor about Nick Walker not doing the Mr. Olympia and like a half an hour later or an hour later he announced that he's out but now we got something about Andrew Jack on the same channel as yesterday, Rep 1 Stefan Kinzel and David Hoffman basically broke another news or spread another rumor. I mean, they, they, they spilled the tea again, I guess. I mean, I should start following Rep1 and those two guys every single video they make from now on because they, they know stuff. Stefan is coaching like almost 20 Olympians in all different categories, so he knows everybody there pretty much. He, he has all the contacts and, you know, these rumors, they spread. They spread really quickly and we have something on Andrew jack as far as nick walker we're gonna talk about him in a second and the reason why he pulled out but as far as andrew jack i don't know if he is going to necessarily drop out like nick walker he might actually do the show but it seems like he's also not going to be at his best because of what happened to him let's hear what exactly happened to him or is it the frog andrew jack seen würde Aber da gibt es auch Gerüchte, er hat sich Bauchmuskel eingerissen, Bauchmuskel gerissen, kann sich nicht wirklich bewegen angeblich, nur Gerüchte, also jetzt nichts, wo man, wo man ein tatsächliches Statement haben, aber das ist das, was, was so in unserem Umkreis kursiert und da muss man halt schauen, wie sich das auswirkt auf sein Posing, auf seine Performance auf der Bühne. Aber ich sehe diese zwei Jungs noch in den Top 5, den Andrew uh, vorausgesetzt, das passt alles. Alright, so there is the auto-translation option on, on YouTube, but it's not perfectly accurate. Uh, if you guys speak German, you can confirm this. But basically what they were saying is, they were first talking about Martin Fitzwater and where he's going to place. Now that Nick Walker is out, he's most, he has a chance of being top 5. And then Stefan says that he might even be top 4 because he heard that Andrew Jack tore his abdominal muscle and that he's unable to move properly and that he didn't officially make a statement yet but it is a rumor that is uh, that is going around in the inner circle of bodybuilding so yeah i'm like 99.9 percent .9 sure that this is uh, what stefan is saying it is and so uh, he tore his abs what does that mean well surprisingly i actually tore my abs as well at one point i actually spoke about my adductor tear i was doing a split squats and my adductor tore and also my lower abs had a tear as well and that was way more troublesome for me than the actual adductor tear i mean a torn adductor prevented me from like uh, deep squatting and leg pressing and lunging of course but i was able to do leg extension cc squat stuff like that but the tear in my abs that was like i was i was having trouble walking i was having trouble training at all like every exercise you do it guys you use your core so when when you have a tear in those abs and you flex them it hurts like hell it's really bad and it took me like, I don't know, many, many weeks to recover properly, completely. But like for the first two weeks after the tear, I had real trouble like just moving around. And uh, realistically, if Andrew tore his uh, abs, <laughs> tore his abs, it sounds weird, but if that happened, if that injury happened like right now at one week out of Mr. Olympia, he can get away with it, like, uh, he doesn't have to lift super heavy and do, like, crazy compound exercises, he can just do isolation and, like, or even rest completely, you know, he won't build any muscle, it might affect his look, but you guys probably know that Dorian Yates tore his tricep at, like, three weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and he was basically not training his upper body at all for those three weeks, he only did cardio and legs, and he actually won the Mr. Olympia in the end, so, Andrew Jack can still um, get away with uh, not not too many consequences from this but you know if he tore that uh, ab like uh, three weeks ago or two weeks ago then his look is most likely going to suffer a little bit but actually it's worse if he tore it right now because it's going to affect his posing and if he can't flex hard if he can't pose properly i don't know man i mean i guess it depends on how bad the tear is but if he is at like 80% of himself, if he's, if he's posing at like 70, 
I still see him in that uh, top five, or at least, or even actually top four. I mean, I don't see him beating uh, Samson, Derek, and and and, and Hardy, but. You know, I can. I, I still believe he can beat Martin and these guys like Rafael Brando, Hunter LeBron, Brandon Curry. I mean, he doesn't. I don't think he needs to be 100% to beat them. But now they actually have a chance, much better chance than before, to beat him. Now we can be pretty sure that Andrew Jack is not going to be 100%. You know, at this point, it's all about how well can he do if he is 80, 70% of himself. And if you were hoping that he's going to win the Mr. Olympia, now, after hearing this, forget about that. Forget about it, man. I mean, top three, I don't see that happening. Uh, beating Samson, no, no, no. With this kind of an injury, that's most likely not going to happen. You know, beating Martin Fitzwater, Brandon Curry and the other guys, probably, still, yeah, I think so. But again, it depends on how bad the injury is. Is it going to prevent him from competing uh, completely? And of course, there is the question of uh, how accurate this information is. But based on what happened yesterday and how accurate those guys were about Nick Walker, again, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that this is an accurate information. But if I learn something more on this, I'll inform you guys right now. You can tell me down below what do you think, like how how much can this affect him and like if he is not able to pose at 100% and train to the max in this last week or two, if he shows up at like 70-80%, will he still be top 4? Or you guys maybe think he will still win the Mr. Olympia? Or you guys think that like Brandon, Hunter and Martin are going to beat him now? Whatever your thoughts are guys, tell me down below. Alright, now let's talk about Nick Walker and why he actually pulled out of the Mr. Olympia. So, yesterday, when I made a video about, uh, you know, this rumor about Nick Walker dropping out, a lot of comments were like, uh, you're just gossiping, you're clickbaiting, this is not true, this is just a rumor, this and that, and all of those comments are deleted. I mean, you guys should know that, like, if top guys, top name guys, top coaches are speaking about this kind of stuff, it's got, there's gotta be some truth to it, and, you know, I never said it, it's 100% true, I just uh, reported what I saw, that's what I do, that's my job, I mean, you guys should know that at this point, anyways, Nick Walker is definitely out, and basically the reason, I'm sure you guys already watched this video, him and Matt, and basically what they are saying, what Matt is uh, mainly saying is that, in a nutshell, uh, is that uh, Nick uh, became a better person in the last year, and that he was striving in, the, in a stressful environment, which was before this, this past year. And now that he kind of mended all the relationships and became a better person, now all, all, the, all the feelings that he suppressed over the years are coming back and his body as well as his mind are more vulnerable now. I mean, like, you know, theoretically it makes sense somebody would buy it, but, you know, even though I'm a huge fan of Nick and Matt as well, I'll just say what everybody is thinking, I mean... Couldn't it be as simple as Nick just pushed the, the gear way too hard for way too many years? I mean, we were all so amazed by how much progress Nick is making, like how fast he's growing and this and that. Was that really because he's a genetic freak or is it simply because he's a maniac when it comes to gear? Because he never stopped, he never went off. I don't think I ever heard him saying that he is off, and I don't think I ever noticed that he was, like, off, that he looked uh, worse at some point than, than usual, like, he was always, like, in the off-season, full-blown, like, 300 pounds, blasting full, looking like an absolute monster mutant, and then he comes down and gets super conditioned, and, you know, that's Nick Walker. I think there was a point when he stopped working with Matt Jensen and started working with uh, Dom Super Sliced. I think there was a period with him where he went off, but uh, not with Matt Jensen. And I think we saw the same thing basically back then with uh, Dallas McCarver. The guy was always super, super massive. And I mean, I don't think that was because he was a genetic freak. He was, he was. Nick is, of course, as well. But like, you know, those guys were blasting it. And, and, and Nick looks like he's, he's doing that as well. 
So I think he just caught up with him, you know, not going off for years on end, forcing his body to grow as, as fast as possible and like growing it at a super fast rate and then getting super shredded for the shows. And, you know, he had to burn out at one point. You can't keep going like that forever. Sometimes you need to take a step back to make two steps forward. Everybody knows that, but a lot of these open bodybuilders have trouble with that. They don't want to stop ever. I know a whole bunch of guys, like even amateurs, who maybe go off the gear for like four or five weeks and they think they're off, but they're really never off. I mean, they're off is like, you know, 500 mix of gear a, a week and, you know, that that's their off. And I'm pretty sure Nick is the same way and, and like 500 mix is probably low for him. You know, and that's, again, that's just speculation, I don't have any concrete information on this, but that's the way it seems, that's what the consensus is, basically what everybody is thinking and saying. Not everybody is going to say it publicly like this, but that's what my channel is all about, being brutally honest, and saying exactly what I think, and like, I have contacts with many of these guys, but I'm actually trying to make a, to, to distance myself from them, because whenever I became a little bit closer with somebody, whenever I talk to somebody, at some point or another they'll have their remarks, they will be unhappy with what I said, they will have requests, this and that, I don't need that, man, like, I just wanna say whatever I think, and if you don't like it, you don't have to like it, you can unsubscribe, you can block me, whatever, you know, it's all about saying the truth, and like sometimes it may help these guys, and I don't know if that is necessarily the case with Nick, but it seems like it, and if it is the case, then right now what he needs to do is like, go off, go off for a while, you know, just be a regular human being for a little bit, not for too long, but like try and relax for like two or three months, and then come back, because apparently at this point his body, uh, he got to that point where his body wasn't responding, like, he could not get in condition, he probably could have done that if he, like, upped the, the, the fat burners, you know, which ones I'm talking about, he could have, like, went crazy with that, with all, with all that, but what would happen, like, he would just destroy his health, and, like, you know, Matt Jensen would probably have another bodybuilder dying uh, on his watch, you know, and he doesn't need that, so this was definitely the right decision, if his body is struggling and it doesn't want to do what it needs to do, it's definitely a better decision to pull out like this, but as far as Nick's future, yeah, what he needs is to be able to chill out, to cool down once in a while, not look like a freaking monster all year round and be focused on just growing and growing every day, every week, every month, this is what we saw from Nick, basically, it seemed like he never went off for who knows how long, and of course this happened, of course it happened, and it sucks, man, it honestly sucks, like, I wanted to see Nick on the stage, I, I'm a huge fan of his physique and of him as a person as well, I just wanted to see him do well, I, I had him in my second place at, at the Mr. Olympia, in my prediction, but yeah, that's definitely not gonna be the case, and um, yeah, you guys can make your own conclusions on why this happened, you can share them down below, but you know, I don't think it's just a mental thing, like psychological thing that he, uh, he's, he became a better person and now like all the trauma is, is surfacing and his body won't lose weight because of that, like, you know, I can see some logic behind that, but really I'm pretty sure he burned out because he used way too much gear for way too long without letting his body refresh, recover, get healthy and responsive to the gear and to the, all the stimulants, that's the way I see it, I'm pretty sure that just did, but again, you guys feel free to tell me down below what do you think, and let's move on to the next topic. The next thing we got is Hunter Labrada, who is a potential top 5 Olympian at this point, after Nick dropped out, and we have a physique update from him at 6 days out of Mr. Olympia, he seems to be getting uh, really conditioned at this point, he is massive, as you guys know, he looks flatter, which is perfect for 6 days out, he looks great for Hunter, but there is uh, one big problem that he's having, and I said it before, and I'm gonna say it again, even though his coach, Ben Chow, is basically my boss, you know, he works for Ford, and I kind of work for him, I mean, he is the guy that is in charge with uh, the, the sponsored athletes, 
um, or whatever media, I'll just still be honest. I hope he won't mind and I hope they're gonna actually listen to me because as far as uh, Hunter Labrada, like, he has enough muscle to become, to be fifth, to definitely be fifth. And if Ander Jack has a real trouble with that torn uh, ab, if like uh, he has some swelling or uh, he won't be able to train or like, look at this, this is, this is nasty. Uh, if uh, Andrew Jack is off, Hunter has a chance of beating him and placing instead of the top four again. Front double looks great when he pulls a vacuum, but here is where the trouble begins. As soon as he lets go of that pose, he lets that stomach hang out. And he's kind of trying to hide it with his arms, but the judges will, will see this. They will see what's happening behind those arms. He can't let himself, he can't let this happen, I mean, like, he has very, very poor stomach control, like, Nick Walker, he always had those issues, but he was always usually, he was usually very, very good at controlling it, and even at the New York Pro, he had trouble, but he was definitely way better than Hunter is. So I'm definitely calling out Hunter for this, like he needs to control that midsection better, maybe he's not able to because it's kind of like a new thing for him, he always had a decent midsection, but recently it became really bad, really bad, and basically at this point for him, I mean he is massive, he's one of the biggest guys today, and it seems like he's bringing really good conditioning as well, he has the right shape, the right structure, he has it all, Basically, no weaknesses, no weak points, everything is good on him, basically, I mean, he, he improved his back a lot, I don't think his chest is that bad, I mean, he has a tear, but it's not a horrible tear, the only flaw that he has, the biggest flaw that he has, is this gut, he needs to learn how to tuck it in and keep it under control, keep it flexed at all times, if he can do a vacuum and just keep it there in all the poses, in all the transitions, I mean, he would probably be, he would definitely be battling for that fourth against uh, Andrew Jack, but the way things are looking and, you know, again, I'm just assuming, but it seems like he is not willing to put a work in, if he really tried, I'm sure at this point he would have learned how to control this midsection, but like, he is still letting it hang, you know, in the transitions, and it's bad, he needs to learn how to breathe through the chest and not through the stomach and just keep that midsection tight, tight, flexed at all times, if he, if, I mean, when, when will he do it, like, he doesn't have enough time to learn how to do it, but, like, if he did do it, if he learned how to control it, I would definitely have higher expectations from Hunter, by the way, things are looking right now, I have uh, Martin Fitzwater and Brandon Curry beating him as well, if he learned how to keep the midsection in, tight and flexed at all times, or even better, do a vacuum in all the poses, I would definitely have him above both Martin and Brandon Curry, but the way things are looking, I don't think he's gonna be able to do that, so yeah, a big issue if you ask me. However, whatever you guys think about Hunter or Nick pulling out or about Andrew Jack's injury, ab tear, whatever it is, tell me down below in the comment section, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more content like this and the Mr. Olympia coverage in the next 6 days, guys, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best and bye bye.